What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 famous Idaho Potato Bowl between the Western Michigan Broncos and the Air Force Falcons. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with the Broncos. For Western Michigan in this ball game, when you're playing Air Force or any one of the service academies, it's always about defensive discipline. You have to do your job. Don't try to be a hero defensively, otherwise you're, get, you're gonna get gashed with that option attack. And you have to maximize your possessions. Air Force is a football team like many option football teams. They can own the T.O.P. So when you have the football, you have to come away with points. Whether that's three or seven, you have to be able to maximize your possessions. And you have to play winning special teams. Air Force does a great job in every other facet of the game. You want to win two out of the three aspects of a football game. And that's how you can come away victorious, especially versus a team like Air Force. And for Air Force in this ball game, you can't beat yourself. No penalties, no turnovers, no blown assignments, no missed opportunities in the red zone. Because again, you're going to have to probably match point for point with Western Michigan because of the fact that they can put up points in bunches. And you have to play above the rim offensively. I think Air Force has tremendous talent on the flanks. They have the size advantage on the outside. And when they do pass the football, they have to win those one on one battles. And I think defensively, it's about winning in space. Western Michigan loves to spread the football field. They're going to take advantage of their athletes in space. So defensively, you have to match up. And I do believe the Falcons have the athleticism on the flanks at outside linebacker, at safety to match up. But they have to make sure they win consistently in space. The biggest X factor in this ballgame for Western Michigan will be the play of their linebackers. Look at guys like Trevor Ishmael and company having to play with discipline, having to make plays at or behind the line of scrimmage and not try to be a hero versus this option. Otherwise, it could be a long day. So I think that second level defense of Western Michigan will play a huge role in the outcome of this ballgame. And for the Falcons, I believe the X Factor will be their strong safety, Western Steelhammer, and how they utilize him as far as pass defense is concerned. He's the leading interceptor on a football team with seven. This is the guy that can move all around the formation to try to find optimal matchups, maybe go to a 4-4 look instead of their normal traditional 3-4. Just find creative ways to utilize their best playmaker in space. So I think Steelhammer will have a huge impact for this Falcons defense. Now here are some 2015 pro prospects you want to keep an eye on in this ball game for Western Michigan. You look in the secondary, Justin Curry, the safety, 6'2", 211, and cornerback Donald Seliscar at 6 feet 190. Two outstanding players that will do a great job at the next level. And I look at Air Force again, they have that two-year commitment, but you look at the two prospects, Kale Pearson, who I think can play quarterback, not move to receiver or running back at 5'11", 190, and Jordan Pierce, a tremendous athlete at linebacker, can play inside or out. John Arfordal is definitely a campus legend. He played under the great Jack Harbaugh, the head coach, from 1982 to 1985. He's inducted into the Western Michigan Hall of Fame, and he still owns the school record for career tackles with 694. Ernie Jennings was an outstanding receiver for the Air Force Falcons from 1967 to 1970. He was a consensus first-team All-American in 1970 and finished eighth in the Heisman Trophy voting that season. He also finished his career with 148 passes, 2,392 yards, and 28 touchdowns. And in 1970, he set the single-season records with 74 catches for 1,289 yards and 17 touchdowns. And he's also amongst the top kickoff returners in school history. In the 2011 famous Idaho Potato Bowl, the Ohio Bobcats took on the Utah State Aggies in a great game that ended on the last play with a Tyler Tettleton one-yard touchdown run only after they had to review to see if LeVon Brazil, the receiver you see pictured here, scored the game-winning touchdown. He didn't. The ball was placed on a six-inch yard line, and two plays later, Tettleton was able to punch it in to give Ohio the 24-23 victory.
In the 2011 Little Caesars Pizza Bowl, Western Michigan took on the Purdue Boilermakers, and Purdue was up 34-18 until Western Michigan came storming back, but the comeback attempt failed as a late fumble by Alex Carter sealed the victory for Purdue, and Western Michigan is now 0-5 in their bowl games. The inaugural 1998 Oahu Bowl featured the Air Force Falcons and Brock Heward's Washington Huskies in a defense forced three interceptions of Brock Heward and the Huskies couldn't stop that Air Force triple option led by running back Spanky Gilliam as the Falcons blasted Washington 45-25. I like Western Michigan in this ballgame. I do think they'll have some issues early on in the matchup versus Air Force's option, but when you look at how they play offense, they spread the field, they're able to run the football downhill with Jarvion Franklin, the freshman running back. I think overall, they'll have enough. If this gets into a shootout, they are well equipped to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Air Force. I think that's how they're going to ultimately win the ballgame. Look for a lot of scoring in this one with Western Michigan getting their first ever bowl victory in school history.